so this ice is melting. Now, this is an aesthetic loss. This is a spiritual loss. It's a loss out of time. The ice is older than most civilization, a lot of it. Okay? Um, it's also a practical issue. Right? That, that ice stores water so that even if it doesn't rain a lot one year, there's still water in the rivers. When that ice is no longer there regularly, imagine the chaos of the water issues. Okay. okay, so melting ice. So that got me to melting ice. So like I said, I started freezing things in ice as my art. Anything. The wrappers from my tea, sunglasses. Okay. Uh, around, uh, then I got a chance to do a bigger piece of ice. There was a, a, we had a climate change conference, China-US climate change conference here at Berkeley. We show, we show, a, pre, we show a preview of An Inconvenient Truth, actually. And in the middle of it, this block, this huge 300-pound block of ice fell over. Mm -hmm. You can see that little notch there? That's from it falling over. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you more about that in a second. Uh, and then I just started putting blocks of ice on metal, on antique plant stands I had, and et, et cetera. And you can see it's, you know, it makes for some interesting art and some interesting just abstract art. But uh, it also is an engaging thing. So I just want to share, I'll just share with you also now some of the videos I've been doing. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, let me do it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's get the sound. Does this sound on? Let's see. It should be a good one in. There we go. All right, let me go back here. The volume up a little. So that's a that was a three hundred pound block of ice that we melted at a. It took two days to melt it a at a, uh, a recent uh, film festival. So this is my favorite part. This is Sunday night. The festival's over. Here's that ice still melting. And pretty soon you'll notice now it's nighttime. And it, it waits for up for the sunrise before it dies. You'll see it just get bright just before it dies. There we go. Waited to see the sunrise. It held out. Let me do another one here. This is, uh, I'm, I'm involved now. I've, I also turned into ice designing for play. So it's a play about time and climate change and all this sort of stuff. And this is... Uh, this is from the, you know, you have a, with a play of a first reading, it's a big deal, you know, it's a ritual thing, and you have to read through the whole script. And... Place coming up in a couple of months, I'll give you guys flyers because it'll be too much. And then I've been going out to things like First Fridays and just going out to the public. It's very engaging, right? And, and what is fun is that people get engaged. As Holly's pointed out, it's accessible. Real eyes. Real eyes. Laughing about it won't last forever, you know. I mean, it's fun. So, um, again, I've got to the you know the abstract art, but let's get. Let me. What I want to do is 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 read the artist statement I, I made for this film. So this is now. So you, I read you my my starting point, right? It was about my 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 thesis abstract was about okay, about a kind of about understanding, right? But now. I've evolved a little bit, so this is this is from a few months ago. Uh, it's an artist statement that I did for the for this for this film festival. 
Uh, I've got some sobering news. The ice is going to melt. At the time of my daughter's birth in 2000, the scientific forecast was that the polar ice cap would disappear by the time she reached her grandmother's age. While the climate crisis activists were running around betting on the naive long odds that a solution will somehow stop this, I found myself more compelled by the urgency of witnessing and discovering meaning in this profound event. Why run around calling for people to bail the Titanic with teacups at the expense of being present for the last breaths of, glaciers, of the glacier's deflation? In the midst of all the focus on the survival of our species, who will cry for the ice? Who will hold its hand to capture the twinkle in its eye before it closes? What stories, wisdom, and qualities will go extinct with the last drips of the mountain glaciers older than civilization itself? What is the proper response to, the, to this grand aesthetic and spiritual loss? Meanwhile, how will humanity evolve through the crisis? Why are we alive on this planet during an induced geologic event? Right? You're on the planet while you're watching a geologic event happen. Geolog means the ice cap melting. That's like that's that's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> you know, good timing. <laughs> Meanwhile, how will humanity of okay, sorry. Uh, it's pretty exciting it's a pretty exciting time to live a life. How does an individual or a species cultivate the paradoxical state of enthusiastic, excited despair? I couldn't help but decide to devote the, the remainder of my career to these compelling questions. But as urgent as the questions are, they are also metaphysical and abstract. Right? Which, well, brings us to art. Ice is quite simply the obvious medium for a climate artist. So, here's the good news. Ice is cool. And ice on metal? Even cooler. Take a moment to unburden it from the profound questions. Be fascinated. Enjoy its meditative pace. Pet it. Watch it dance with light. Put it in your pocket and go flying with it in your dreams.